Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on today. Because it seems like we lost a little bit of that market cap that uh, didn't look like it was going to come down anytime soon yesterday. But today is telling a different story as Bitcoin falls down below 50,000 USD and a lot of the rest of the market is following suit. Well, on the bright side, guys. For the United States and Canada this past weekend or yesterday, which was Labor Day and sales pretty much everywhere, for the crypto market, it looks like today is our Labor Day because almost every single digital asset is on sale today. And that's the way you guys got to look at things because when the market is fearful and the prices are going down, this is the time that you want to be buying especially tokens like sonar ping when we look at sonar down 14 percent in the last seven days but we are up 48 percent in the last seven days but this is a great opportunity for you guys to be buying in if you are a smart investor and you've been looking for the dips because when the charts dip and the market is fearful this is the best time to be buying you never want to be buying at the top you want to be the one buying at the bottom because we know when we talk about this every single day that these digital assets the crypto market is gonna evolve and multiply its value over the time i talk about sonar ping doing 100x possibly a thousand x towards q4 towards the end of 2021 leading into 2022 well, we are just in the first week of September. So everything is actually moving according to schedule. And these are the times that you guys want to be purchasing. Now, but with all that being said, we dipped about 250 billion in the last 24 hours on the market cap for the entire crypto market. So who could be responsible for this dip and what caused this minor flash crash today? Today was supposed to be a really good news. Today was the official day that El Salvador became the first country to adopt Bitcoin as official currency. Yet we still experience this minor flash crash. And of course, it's the same story that repeats in crypto all the time. People getting greedy, margin trading, leverage trading. That's why if you guys follow my channel, I never promote new investors trading with margins, trading with leverages in the derivative markets because there are always going to be some organizations that want to keep the markets down and look to manipulate and take advantage of the greedy longs. And if you're new to investing and you're trading in the derivative markets, you're trading with margins, you're trading with leverages, you are going to get wrecked. And so a few hours ago, Coinbase, the second largest crypto exchange globally, a lot of volume coming from Coinbase, posted this post on Twitter. So apparently they were having issues and they tweeted this out three hours ago. We're aware transactions are currently delayed or canceled at elevated rates and our apps may be experiencing errors. Our team is investigating the issue and will be up to date here as soon as we know more. So unacceptable. The second largest crypto exchange in the market goes down at a crucial time when all these longs are getting liquidated and the prices are starting to dip. And so the reason why I'm saying this is unacceptable, not because transactions were down on Coinbase a few hours ago and people weren't able to sell this is actually a little bit of a good thing because so it kind of helped people back from panic selling if in fact that was the road that you were going to go if you trade on coinbase but this was also not a great thing because for smart investors that wanted to take advantage of the dips when they saw that the longs were getting liquidated couldn't actually put in any transactions. You couldn't buy or sell at that current moment. So unacceptable from Coinbase. But just about an hour ago, they posted some follow up tweets and, um, they right here, transactions are going through normally now and service issues have been resolved. They follow up with another tweet saying a set, a sudden increase in network traffic and market activity led to the degradation of our services. We're seeing improvements with our app services now. However, transaction services are still degraded. Fund settlements will be delayed while we recover. So I think this tweet actually came before the second tweet right here. And so they right here, transactions are going through normally now and service issues have been resolved. Okay, 
So there were a few hours in between here where they were having some serious problems and you had laser eyes and you were watching charts you weren't able to sell or buy during this time period right here. So very unacceptable for the second largest crypto exchange globally. But the problem has been resolved. And for those of us that are smart investors and understand everything today is on sale. You never want to be the person buying at the top. You want to be the person buying at the bottom when everyone is fearful because we talk about digital assets every day. I talk about digital assets on my channel every day. There's thousands of influencers on YouTube that talk about crypto and digital assets every single day. And statistics show as the years have gone by, more investors, more young investors are choosing to trade in the crypto markets as opposed to the traditional stock markets. And so although a whole bunch of long traders might have got liquidated today and maybe some people started panic selling and maybe some people just start just realized that maybe they wanted to pull out and take some profits, what goes down will always go back up. And we are so early in the game that like tokens like Binance that went down 15% here in the last 24 hours. Yet only down 9% in the last seven days are extremely great buys are extremely good buys and on sale. Because if you look at all the projections and all the people talking about Binance, BNB coin leading into Q4, leading into 2022, where we could see a possible $1,000 BNB coin or a $2,000 BNB coin. Just yesterday, we were just up above 500. I'm smiling today because I haven't bought anything as of yet, but these are the days I like to go shopping and I like to do my research on projects because these are the times that you want to be buying, especially Sonar Ping with the news of being listed on gate.io on September the 16th. I'm almost thinking about purchasing more and doubling down on my investment as we are down 14% in the last 24 hours. It's a steal of a sale to be purchasing some Sonar Ping today. VeChain Vet is a good buy today. Crowcoin is a good buy today. Robust Token is a great buy today. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. As mentioned in all my videos, not financial advice. You got to do your own technical analysis. But if you like the video, smash that like button below. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to all my other channels if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.